hello today I'm here with a new video and it's first impression today too but today I am testing out new brushes uh, I was at H&M today and I saw this one it's artist edition eye brush set I have tried one brush I think it is from H&M a long time ago like maybe five years or something I liked that brush, it was an okay brush. So I bought these and these are five brushes and they are all synthetic brushes. I don't use brushes with animals, animal hair. So the brushes look like this and when it comes to makeup brushes I don't care how much they cost. The most of my favorite brushes are pretty cheap. Um, I don't think that the brush needs to be expensive to be good so I'm not a snob when it comes to brushes so I whoop, almost hit my head <laughs> I bought these and this is five brushes it's one eye and brow brush a little I don't know what this is called in English it's cut like this and um, so I think I I'll try to use it for my eyebrows but I don't know if it's a little bit too fluffy or not but I will try it and then we have a pre precision eye color brush it's like a small round blending brush I don't know if I'm going to use this maybe under my eyes or if it's too big we will see and then we have smudging brush it's a really small, fat, pretty hard brush. I don't know what I'm going to use, maybe in my inner corner. I don't really know. And then we have the medium shading brush. And it's like this precision eye color brush. No, sorry, smudging brush. But it's a little bit bigger, so this is pretty fluffy and pretty big. And I think this is going to be good to have on your maybe outer corner and smudged up your crease. And then the last brush, blah, brush is the crease brush. This is a little bit smaller than I usually like to have in my crease, but I will try it. And the brushes, they feel very soft. So I think I'm just going to use these brushes today. And I am going to use two palettes from Blush Tribe. Because I'm going to do a pink look today. And I usually don't do pink. Because it's not my favorite color in the real world. And I really don't like put it on my eyes but then I was looking for pink colors and I realized that I don't have so many pink colors eyeshadows but I am going to use the Paulina shade in the Fall Fusion palette and also the Peony Peony and Petunia palette colors in the Blossom palette I'm all over the place today. So I'm going to use these three colors. I think only these three colors at least. So we will just hop in to the eye makeup and test out the brushes. So I will zoom in a little bit and then we will start and see what these brushes are good for. Okay, I hope this is a good angle and I have primed my eyes and now we're going to start with the crease color. And I think I will take Peony, this one, and put in my crease, and I will use the crease brush. Picks up colors good, and we will see how they blend them. Okay, um, I maybe should do this side so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I have to figure out the best way to film more close ups. It is an okay brush. I would want it to be a little bit bigger because I like to take my crease color pretty high up and close to my eyebrow. 
and this is not so big so I have to do it like this but it works pretty good it's soft and blends out color good so that's good so I think I I like this brush even though I would want it to be a little bit bigger not super big but it's very pointy I don't know if you can see it it's very pointy and I like them a little bit more rounded but this is good for precision crease maybe smaller crease But I think it works really good. I like this one, even though it's a little bit small for my taste, but I like it. Now I will take the medium shading brush and I will take the Paulina shade here in the Fall Fusion palette. And I'm going to put this on my outer corner and also maybe blend it up to my crease. I will see. And this also picks up. very much color and this brush was really good packed it on beautifully and it's easy to work with and it's I like brushes like this you can both have it on your lid and then you can smudge it out in your crease and it works with both things. I really like that. This was a very good brush. I am impressed H&M. This is maybe one of my favorite brushes for like packing on and blend like this to put in a bigger area of your eyelid because this works so good. I don't know how much you can tell when just look at it, but this is really good brush. I really, really like this. If <laughs> this was going, if you can only buy this, do it, because this was really good. It's the medium shading brush. New favorite of mine. I want more of these. Okay, uh, enough of that. And now I will take the Petunia. Oh, I don't need to point my f ugly finger for you. Uh, I would take Petunia and I don't know which brush I should use. I think I will take the smudging brush under my eyes. So I will take the Precision Eye Color Brush. It's a pretty long name. And it's like a blending brush. But small and it's very round. And I don't know if this is good for this purpose. But I am going to do it. So I will take this one, take the petunia. And this also picks up a lot of color. And I will put this in my inner corner. I hope the Paulina shade and this shade are not too similar. They are pretty similar. This was also a good brush. I am a little bit surprised. Because these brushes were not expensive at all it was 179 Swedish crowns I can write here what is in, in dollars and it's five brushes and three of them are really good so I hope for the next two to be good too and this works really good with packing on and also smudge Maybe I should have used this under my eye, but now it's a little bit too late for that. I like brushes that you can pack and you can smudge with them. Because I like to do it and yeah. This was a really good brush, this brush as well. Okay, so the eyelids are finished. I have two brushes left. I will try the eye and brow brush for my eyebrows and I will try the smudging brush under my eyes but I have to do my face makeup first so I will fix that off cam and then I will be back. Okay so my foundation is on but only like foundation no 
powder no blush or anything so I made it look a little bit flat in my face and I got no eyebrows so I think we will start with the eyebrows so I will use this brush it's the eye and brow brush I will just comb my eyebrows a little bit I have really long hair on my eyebrows um, so I have to comb them and I use my Kat Von D I don't really know what it's called Dimension Powder in the color blonde and as you see I have hit the pan so this is pretty big but I hope that it will I think it works it pick up I don't know if you can see it because it's pretty thin it picks up the shadow or the powder really good and doing eyebrows and camera I think it's the worst I hate doing it I like the shape of it I was a little bit afraid that it was going to feel too big but I really like it it doesn't pick up as much as my brow brush I have does but it picks up okay and it is very controllable can you see that it's oh then I drop it it's not like flimsy or anything oh this looks not good it's not all over the place or anything like that but I wish it would have picked up a little bit more color it's just like when you do the first stroke like that and then it's almost like there no color left on the brush so it's not as good as my eyebrow brush I have but it's absolutely not the worst eyebrow brush I have tried so it's an okay brush but I think it, it was it was a good eyebrow brush you can like make a little tail of your eyebrow I'm just going to use some eyebrow gel to set this because I am filming another video today so I like that brush as well. I like all the brushes. So now we are to the last one and um, this is the smudging brush and I will put something on my lower lash line and I don't know which color but I think I'm going to take the Paulina shade, this one from the Fall Fusion palette. Fall Fusion palette. But I'm a little bit afraid this is going to be too big but we will try and I dip the end and this pickups color good as well this works very good I wanted I asked you for tip in my first impression with my mini masquerade palette from UVS Place for brush to have under your eyes but I think I found it myself because this is it so this brush is also very good I'm so impressed with these brushes because they all work really really good and I'm just hoping that they will sell this individual I don't know how new these are but I have never seen them before. So I usually don't look at H&M brushes because they have quite a lot of makeup brushes. I like this as well. That worked super good under my eyes. So I am really impressed with these five brushes. These are really good brushes for really good price. And they pick up shadows 
super good and they blend them out super good so I am really impressed and I can really recommend these brushes if you want them if you want good cheap brushes so I am super happy with how this turned out and I'm going to end this video now and uh, like this because I am filming another video I have no time this weekend to make any video I think so I have to film in the middle of the week and then I have to multitask so I really like these these are really really good so I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked it please 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 press like and also subscribe if you're not and that makes me happy with new subscribers and yeah I hope you liked this video and I will see you in the next one bye